Now, the airside vehicle uh, is connected, has to be connected with the airside aircraft module to simulate the interaction between the aircraft and vehicles. Okay, now you can use this um, second module to assess the impact of ground support equipment on airport capacity and optimize your operations. Okay, with this module you can uh, you can make capacity studies. Okay, so what kind of capacity studies? Now here we can talk about, for example, the fleet of the ground handler uh, is the it's let's say seven towing trucks and eight buses enough for my operation. Do I need to, do I need more buses to be able to ensure a specific service level? So every time an aircraft needs to be serviced and this module is enabled, then the aircraft will wait until a bus has come to uh, take out passengers or until the uh, but the aircraft has been filled with fuel or the a towing truck is available to push back the aircraft. So if you have this module then you can also make those capacity studies. You can also evaluate your road network design so uh, and optimize your vehicle flow uh, in uh, with airtop. So as, as you can see here in this uh, diagram in the bottom left this is a representation of where my aircraft are stopping. Okay, so this can help you evaluate your road network design, see if, uh, if any changes to your road network would have an impact on aircraft delay. And also with your turnaround management, you can also evaluate your turnaround management to see how your business rules are affecting the service level, how they're affecting aircraft delay. Okay, so there's a long list of vehicles that are supported with this module. Uh, we have tugs, as you can see we have one tug here in this uh, image, uh, a yellow tug, and in the bottom right we have this green tug also moving around the airport, but we also have buses, refueling trucks, catering, de-icing, refueling, we have baggage, uh, water trucks, lavatory trucks, cleaning trucks, and also the stair cars. Okay. So all of these vehicles provide a direct service to the aircraft. So the aircraft, uh, if uh, you don't need to uh, model all of them, you can. That's the nice thing about Airtop. You don't have to uh, go all the way and specify everything. You only specify whatever you need and you go as far as you need for the purposes of your project. Okay. So all of this, what I was saying, are provide a direct service to the aircraft. If you decide to model them, then your aircraft will wait until those vehicles have come and provide their service. But it's also, in an airport, you also have vehicles that do not provide a direct service to the aircraft. For example, duty officers that are just uh, driving around their cars in the airport, making inspections they're also supported in Airtop. You can also simulate those vehicles uh, by specifying the locations through which they need to, to go and how much time they need to spend in every location. We've done that in the past to simulate, for example, even runway inspection routines or a falconer that, uh, that was moving around the airport. Uh, that was moving at the vicinity of the runways making sure that it's burn free. So you can model any type of vehicles with this module in, uh, in Airtop. Okay, so this, uh, there's also two ways of servicing aircraft. I'm going to show it to you here in this, uh, in this animation. On the left side we have a very quick and dirty uh, analysis that you can make in which you see that vehicles are just coming to the aircraft and then they are going to jump to their uh, servicing location. So that's if you don't want to spend too much time and you want to have it done really quickly then that's possible in Airtop. 
okay? So you see vehicles come to the aircraft and then they jump to their servicing location. That's what we have on the left side. But on the right side, the right aircraft, you can see that we have taken the time to specify in more detail how we want to have the service arrangement and how we want to vehicles to approach the aircraft. And you can also see that, that it looks more realistic. So when you're working with GSE, with ground support equipment, and showing this to stakeholders, visuals are sometimes very important. Visuals take a lot of time, uh, but with Airtop, you have the option to accelerate the development of your model by uh, with the option on the left side or provide more detail if necessary. And, and as you can see here on the in the right side. OK, so there's a, there's a very long list of vehicles that can be supported with Airtop. And as you can see, also, you can be very realistic in how that servicing arrangement looks like. OK, um, in terms of features for this module to be um, at a more technical level, it is possible to assign vehicles based on rules. So, uh, which allows you to model the different behaviors of ground handlers. You can assign them by aircraft type, uh, so only to a certain type of aircraft, uh, that, uh, or by vehicle type, or you can have different type. For example, if you have a refueling trucks, uh, there, are very, there are different types of refueling trucks with different uh, fuel capacities. So, you can model also those different vehicle types uh, in airtop as well and assign those vehicle types to a specific aircraft type so you if you have a big aircraft you want to use a big refueling truck so if that's how you want to operate your airport you can also create those rules in airtop not only about refueling trucks but also buses have can have different capacities or baggage uh, baggage trailers can have different capacities so you can uh, create different vehicle types too. You can also tell Airtop to assign them to specific airlines to simulate, uh, like I said before, uh, the different ground handler fleets. And you can also create rules to try to minimize the distance that those vehicles travel to service the aircraft and the gap between jobs. So do you want the closest possible vehicle to service your aircraft or you don't mind or you want, uh, you have specific rules for assigning these vehicles to your aircraft depending on where that particular vehicle is driving at a given moment, that's also possible. Okay, okay, and as you can expect, uh, you have uh, the reporting that, uh, and that for to report, you can have a distance uh, service that every aircraft, that every vehicle has been uh, executing until any moment in your simulation. Now, this is an example of your reportings. On the right side, we can see here this long table with the list of all aircraft that have been serviced by this vehicle, and we have statistics for this particular vehicle. How much time has it been connected to an aircraft? How much time has it been servicing? what's the distance and how much fuel that vehicle has been burning. So it's very, you can have very detailed information. All that information can of course be visualized in charts, but what we can also see here in the bottom uh, is this, uh, as I showed briefly show before, this heat map where we can see our road network. That's also very value, very valuable input because you can see how your road network is being used, which roads are being used the most so that you can have a very good idea of where uh, those vehicles are also stopping the most. So which uh, road network intersections are being bottlenecks and you can have then and if you want to design new road networks and explore and evaluate them you can also test new red road network designs and see which of these road networks have a lower impact on aircraft delay for example okay so that's also possible with airtop so airtop is the tool that is going to help you dynamically simulate it and look at this uh, this design and look at these heat maps